I asked ChatGPT, generate a dashboard for me to build in Tableau. And ChatGPT responded with this wild neon concept, which I actually really like. So I took the design that AI generated and built it in Tableau. I'm gonna show how I built the whole thing in Tableau, explaining the methods behind each visual. I'll have AI on the screen as reference, and I'll start with how I built the background. So this background was too complex to build in Tableau alone, so I used Canva. And for the containers, I wanted that gradient border, which is something Canva doesn't natively support. So my workaround was to first create a gradient container. Then I duplicated this container and gave it the same color as the background. And after placing this inside the gradient container, it gave me this gradient effect for the border. And I just copy and pasted these containers a few times until I had a full layout. And the text in the AI generated version had a glowing effect that really stood out. So I used Canva's glow text option for the title. But I realized what really made it pop was the added border. So I duplicated the title and applied an outline effect to one version. And layering that outline version on top of the glowing version gave it an effect similar to AI's. For the rest of the text, I just used the glow effect because I didn't need it to stand out as much. And that's how I recreated a background similar to the one that ChatGPT generated. I moved a few things around to make it work better in the layout, but overall it's pretty spot on. Within Tableau, I use an image so I can add this background, and I just made it fill the entire screen. Then I connected to the sample Superstore dataset that comes with Tableau, since its structure is similar to the AI-generated version. And I started with the KPIs by double-clicking on measure names to create a table. And I added three metrics, the 2024 sales, which is the most recent year in the sample Superstore dataset right now, the year-over-year -year sales growth, which is 2023 compared to 2024, and profit. And while the AI version was missing some actual numbers and included a random KPI, I tried to stay as close to the design ChatGPT gave me as possible, while still making sure it made sense for a real business use, like adding in these responsive number formatting and formatting the worksheet so we're left with just those KPIs. Then I'm using measure names to determine the color of these KPIs. That way I can assign similar colors to the titles on the dashboard. And I just need to format the text itself before adding it to the dashboard. And I place these KPIs on the dashboard so they would be above their titles. ChatGPT's visuals had two progress bars, but they didn't really mean anything specific. So I used this next section to build a dynamic gradient progress bar instead. And I thought it was cool enough to deserve its own video. So I'll post a step-by-step -step breakdown, but here I'm gonna walk through the method I used to create it. The first thing I did was just use a calculated field to define what the sales progress is. Then I use measure values to get a line from zero to the sales percentage. And I filtered it to just the most recent year in the data set. Then I made the mark type a line and increased the size to get the rounded bar effect. I also used this hack of typing the minimum of zero and making it a size to make the bar even larger. And I used measure values as a color to make the line gradient. But I didn't like the default color palettes that Tableau had. So I loaded my own instead. I have the neon one, which is the one I actually use for this dashboard, but I'm gonna show it with the rainbow one so I can show the full spectrum of the colors. So to get the full gradient effect, I added extra points along the line, basically taking the metric and dividing it by two, four, and multiplying by three fourths. But I only want the gradient to apply to the portion of sales that's complete, which is like 50%. So I just edited the color range to give it a fixed start at zero and end at one. And then I edited the axis so I could give it that same range, but with a little buffer on both ends. That way the gradient only fills up the current progress and doesn't extend past that. And after a little formatting, I was ready to duplicate the worksheet so I could create the border for the progress bar. So this is just the outline that sits behind the progress bar to show what 100% complete looks like. And all I needed to do here is add measure values in again so I can make it a dual access. And instead of using the progress field, I used fixed intervals like 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1. Then I sync the axes up and use the second measure value as the background for the progress bar itself and the first measure value as the gradient outline showing 100% complete. And after a little formatting, I was ready to layer these together on the dashboard. And to enhance it, I added the actual progress completed. And I assigned a different color scheme to make it look more similar to the colors used in the ChatGPT generated version. And that came out looking pretty similar to the bottom right progress bar in the AI generated version. So next I wanted to tackle that glowing line chart, which is obviously something that Tableau doesn't natively support. So I started off by just building a regular line chart as the base. 
and I added sales in there twice. That way I can make this a dual access and use the line in front, which is the second mark, as a solid pink line. Then I made the line behind it, which is the first mark, pink. But I decreased the opacity and increased the size so it peaked out behind the solid line and gave it that glow effect. But I really wanted it to match ChatGPT's version, so after some formatting on the worksheet, I duplicated it so I could layer another line and a matching glowing marker. I used the first mark as the most inside line, lightening up the pink a little bit and making it super small. Then I used the second mark as a marker by changing the type to a shape. And I loaded in this glowing marker that I created in Canva. Then I just brought both of these worksheets onto the dashboard so I could layer them. I think I got the coloring and glow pretty close to what the AI version had. But it did have these blue grid lines, which I didn't really like on my version, so I just took them off. And I moved on to the donut chart. But ChatGPT's version didn't really make sense. But I like the outline effect that it had to it, so I wanted to stick with that. And the trick I used here is using latitude and longitude within the view and a make point field to create multiple marks. And I did like five marks, one for the donut, one for the pie chart, one for the border inside, one for the border outside, and one for the labels. So I made the first one a circle and made it match the background color. Then I removed latitude and longitude. And I made the second mark a pie chart so I could use it for the border. That way the border will have the same angles as the actual pie chart. I did the same thing for the next mark, and this is going to be for the actual pie chart. And I repeated that process one more time for the next mark so I could have the outer border. And to give the borders a different color than the actual pie chart, I add some text after the category. That way I end up with three different legends for the pie charts. And for the last mark, I also made this a pie chart so I could add some labels. Because I wanted these labels to have the same angles as the actual pie chart. And I just used size to push the labels further out and made the color 0% opacity. Then I just formatted these labels and added in the percent of sales. And for the color, I use the legend to edit the colors of the pie chart and its borders. I also noticed there's some text within the center of the pie chart, so I just added in the percent of progress for sales. And once I formatted it to look similar to the AI generated version, I added it to the dashboard. Now this one's not an exact match, but I try to stay true to the colors and design that AI used. This next one, which is the sales by region, I think I got pretty spot on. So I know ChatGPT is missing some regions, but I'm just going to include all the regions in mine. And I wanted semi-rounded ends, so I added measure values and the sales into the columns. And then I just created little buffers for the ends within the measure values list. I made this a dual access and used the first mark as a shape. Then I used measure names to determine the shape so I could assign left and right ends that I created in Canva. That way I could control how rounded the ends were. I colored this by region and used the second mark as a bar so it would fill in the space between the ends. And once these were both colored by region and the axes were synchronized, I used the size sliders to make these look like one cohesive bar. And the last step was just editing the colors so they matched ChatGPT's version. On the dashboard, aligning the bar was a bit tricky because the dark background made it more obvious that it's just a bar with two cap shapes on the end. But it looked good enough, so I just moved on to the sales by location, which is just a simple map. I double clicked on latitude and longitude to add them to the view. Then I brought the state into the marks and I changed the mark type to a map. I also filtered by the country region so I could just look at the United States. Then I used color in the mark to make this 100% opacity and a darker blue. And I added a light blue border to each state so it would match the design of the dashboard. And since I'm putting this on a dark background, I used the map tab to go to background layers so I could uncheck all the layers that I don't need. And since this is supposed to be sales by location, I added in the sales field. That way it's in the tooltip. I quickly formatted the worksheet to remove the row divider, the column divider, and the worksheet shading. I added this map onto the dashboard. For the top products, I like the gradient lines from the AI version, but I didn't want to use another worksheet. So I added them in Canva as part of the background. And now I'm just going to lay a simple table on top of it. And since these are for products, I added subcategory to the rows. Then I double clicked on sales to add it to the marks. And I only want the top four, so I filtered by subcategory and took the top four based on the sum of sales. And they're already sorted in the right order, but to make sure they are even if a filter is applied, I sorted the subcategory by the sum of sales from highest to lowest. Then I quickly formatted the worksheet so I was left with just the text. I formatted the headers so they were bigger font and pink. And I used text in the mark so I can make the values the same style as the headers. 
except this time I made them a light blue, sticking with the colors that the AI version has. And then I just made the number formatting an actual dollar. And now this table is ready to add to the dashboard. I lined the worksheet up with the background lines so it looked like one cohesive table. And since it's already filtered for the top four products, the number stays consistent, so nothing gets misaligned even if the products change. And the last step on this dashboard before I do any touch-ups is to add those filters. So right now I'm just going through and applying the year filter to all the worksheets where it makes sense. And I'll also add the region filter and apply it to all the worksheets where it makes sense. Then on the dashboard, I'm using one of the worksheets to add both the region and year filters. And we can't really see the filters right now, so I'm going to quickly format them. So I'm just giving it white text, shading that matches the background, and pink borders. And my plan is to use show hide buttons so it matches ChatGPT's version. But first I want to make these single value lists and hide the all value. That way it's just easier to work with. And with a show hide button, I can match the exact style of ChatGPT's. So first I'm just adding the button to one of the filters. And I'm editing the button so I can choose images I created in Canva. So a glowing pink X and a glowing blue arrow. And I just did the exact same thing for the other filter. And I want to use these containers to show the actual value of what's being filtered. So I'm going to create a new worksheet for the year filter and drag the order date field into the marks. Then I'll go to one of my other worksheets and make the year filter apply to the year filter worksheet. Then I can edit the title of this worksheet, and instead of sheet name, I'm going to insert the year of the order date. And I can format this directly in here. And because we're using a field in the title, this is fully dynamic, and it'll update with the value of what's selected in the filter. So I'm just going to place the title of this worksheet within the container. And I just repeated that same process for the region filter. And after a little tweaking to adjust it to look more like AIs, we've now got a full dashboard built from ChatGPT's concept from the color schemes to the visuals. Overall, I think it did a pretty solid job on the design. It just didn't look very accurate at first, but we fixed that within Tableau. Honestly, I don't think I could have come up with this design on my own. So I really like how creative ChatGPT's concept was. And it was fun bringing it to life in Tableau.